Oh. Hey, Karen. Karen, I'm home. Karen, I'm just going in this house. Get in the coach. Wait. Seriously, she's not up here. You know what you're late, Are you serious? What do you mean? Am I serious? Are you not the one that's been disturbing to get married? Get married. <laughs> now I'm about to get married and you're asking me. I'm serious. <laughs> well, I know the life and it's nice, you. It's really nice. You need know. You need know that. Ah, oh, well, there's a problem, you know. What is the problem? I don't know. I don't know who to choose. But you really don't know who else you choose if not Serena. Who is the tall guy? That's too short. That's too short, bro. Which too short? You, you too short. I mean, I mean, it's short. Who is too short? Let me be. You know, you know, you know. Yeah. But then, talking about Serena, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I love that girl. But the other girl. But waiting. You don't start the game, bro. See, the only girl I know is Serena. See, that girl has been on the line for like five years now. Yeah, you marry this girl. What do we talk? Oh, guys, not five years. It's just four years. Baba, you don't lose count. Five years, bro. My son Iben will be five years in the next two months. So, what are you saying, guy? You're getting older. Okay. I'm getting married soon, then. <laughs> I like that. Bro, see, Please, we got trust see, you. Make that boss your head. Make yeah. yeah. that boss your head. Or straight cancer, they real. We did that one coming. Go marry. This guy is not in his room. You let me trust you. What? Did you feel like I'm here? I'm not my ball now. It is dope. Shit. All right, I'm coming back. That's my ball. That's my ball. See your ball. And you show me that ball. Hey, play, man. I'm here, sports. Okay, okay. Ah, no, they are here. Karen! Are you for real? Hey, sis. I've been calling your phone all night, like literally every 10 seconds. What's going on with you now? Mm, what's going on is that I went to have fun. I mean, relax. Are you joking right now? Do you know what is going on in town right now? Why will you be out till this time? Huh? I can speak your call or something and let me know you're on your way back or something. Oh, so oh you sound so frustrated and bitter. Please, please, please. What is it? Relax. Let's learn a little. <sighs> oh my God. I'm frustrated and bitter. Why didn't you have what I remember when I said it? Because I am concerned about your welfare. I'm concerned about you being out, especially with all the craziness that's happening right now. People are getting literally kidnapped for part, and you're telling me that I'm frustrated and bitter. You put that in my face. <laughs> I don't understand. I know that Rage really loves company, but you see this negative energy? <laughs> Not today. Not today, Satan. <laughs> yeah, this is me. That was this girl that was shaking her hand. She was like, the Oops. What? See ya. I'm bitter, frustrated, and miserable.
Hi, sis. Good morning. Um, I need your breakfast. Also, I, I wanted to apologize for sis. Good morning. How did I now find you here? First of all, I'm asking you, Madam, it's all because you can work now and say, work is your family. Eh? So, as if was, we don't want to come to work, you know, we have families and Serena? Serena? Babe, are you okay? No. Yeah. Um, I'm fine. I don't think so. Your mind is not here. You have a problem. Yeah, am I a bad person? Yeah? Of course not. Did someone say something to you? Did you hear something? So, if I'm not a bad person, then why is God abandoning me? Serena, what are you saying? No, you just, you said something just now and said, I'm, I'm the first to get here to work. I'm the last to leave. Aside from this job, this work, it's nothing that is actually working in my life. I've been stuck in the same position for years. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not married, I don't have kids. I, like, and then last night, my sister looked me in the face and called me a frustrated human being. What? Karen called you what? Frustrated? You know, I was just trying to be a good sister. Just trying to look out for her because she lives her life like today, like anything goes. And I, I'm not supposed to be the sister who looks out for her best interests. But she feels that like I'm trying to control her life. In fact, this girl called me all kinds of names. Like, I, I can't even... No, 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 no. Karen, there's got to be an explanation. Was she drunk or something? Oh, that is not even an excuse. Besides, don't you say that people actually speak their true minds when they're drunk? Babe, I've got to forgive her. Mm -hmm. Just cheer up. You know, since I'm not picking, she just didn't talk anyhow. I'm carrying a picking now. Miss was vex. And they cheer up. All right. Hmm. Then I just knew as I as I entered this office, I could see you for here. Now I come up. Just to, just to let you know, Madam. No, 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 I have to clock in for the security. I side. see. <laughs> I'll see you around, love. Thank okay. you. Only God sees me and knows my heart, sees it, says not false. Every morning and the night, uh, he hears my prayer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, you see, you get things of that, you don't have to control me. She don't get there, when you just drink up all like one of the berries, pour up all the water, let's see how it's going. I think that's why. And I said it to you. Rather mean things to Serena, and I think she's mad at me for them. Well, you, you'd have tried to control your mouth. I want to control my mouth. If you want to control what's where they enter my mouth, the party. That's it. Guys, what's going on? 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 Guys, it's so I you okay? You okay? All right. Hey. 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 I am sorry. I was drunk, but nothing justifies my, my words and my actions yesterday. You know, I would never do anything or say anything to her to intentionally. Sorry. 
Não, não necessita o... Esqueço-me, não, não, não. Fine. Fine. Like, you forgive me. Are you going to call me miserable? Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. Okay. 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 Please don't miss the phone. Don't talk. You. Thank you. Thank you. I don't say those things to me. Because it was really painful. I will not do it again. Sorry. Sorry. You know my life is not all about work, right? Me? What is it? Hi! I, I like to have fun. I, I just... I'm trying to be a responsible adult. That's all. You don't like to have fun, but... I'm friendly. <laughs> have you eaten? No. Do you have food in the house? Do you cook something? Of course. I said, I said, did you make something? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, you yeah, have too much. You have too much. My sweet sister. Don't try that again, no. No. I will not forgive you again. Never again. Hey, all okay. things. Congratulations. Oh my God. I'm so happy for you. Wow. Congrats. Thank you. What kind of thank you is this? So yeah, thank you, Aski Meiko. Babe, do you know how big of a deal this is? This is huge. I mean, I mean, regional supervisor. Do you know what this is? In UK, 100% salary increase. What up allowance? Housing allowance, B. All these good things that are happening. You deserve them. Thanks, babe. I appreciate that. I don't know. I guess maybe. I mean, maybe it hasn't dawned on me just yet, you know, that this is actually happening. And like, I was hoping I would win it, but like. What? What is done in you? You still be packing out of my office because I've had my eyes. I've had my eyes on this place for the longest time. So as you are done here, please be back with it, eh? That's the one that's concerning you. Yes, of course. <laughs> Wait, so, no, maybe I should call Nelson. Call Nelson and tell him the goodness of it. Get in the spirit of it. You know, I'm again in the spirit of it. So, you know, let's see. Okay. Although, I, I'll call him now. You're not saying he's busy. You're yes. always busy. Oh, uh, always not connecting. Okay. What? Uh, he's just sent me a text. He says he's busy, as usual. He's responding to himself. Before he calls you back, let's go out. Where's your back? Come, we're buying me lunch. We're going to buy me lunch to the end of the year. Let's go out to get it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Yeah. Now, so have you decided who you want to be with? Don't tell me you're jealous. Hell no. So you don't love me? Well, nothing loves to be jealous now, Sil. How would you feel if I proposed to Serena? Do you want to propose to Serena? I mean, I don't have a problem with you proposing to Serena at all. She's been with you for years. And besides, Karen is my best friend and Serena is like a big sister to me, so... Where is all this coming from? Not sure we already know. This is coming from a woman with conscience. I know how helpful Serena has been to you, funding most of your lavish lifestyle and all. And then the only reason a woman would do that is if she wants to get that forever, Nelson. Don't you think so? I am a maid, man. Nelson, she made you. She pulled all the strings. Karen tells me everything. And then lately, Serena has not really been herself. She's been in her feelings and all. I think you need to go and see her and talk to her. Take care of her. Please leave me out of it, I think. Wait. Only time.
God sees me and knows my heart, sees it as I falls. Every morning, noon, and night, He hears my prayer. Yeah. He's staring at me again. Yeah. You know how this tells you. You're the most important entity in my life. <laughs> I will always have my eyes on you. Or, no. <laughs> I love you going to smile. Mary? <laughs> so I smile more. Every day. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go to a studio and make a song for you. <laughs> <laughs> I need a whole word to know that I love you. Oh, wow. I'll be mean, like, the chorus will be like, I love Serena. I love Serena. <laughs> I guess the song will be called Serena. Yes, of course. <laughs> what other name would it be? I love you, baby. I love you so much. I love you. And I'm always going to be here for you. I promise. I promise. But no. I need to go get something now. No. <laughs> I promise I'll always be here for you, okay? Okay, but do you have to go like right now? I, I have to. I'll be back real quick for right? you. I'll be back. Okay. I promise. All right. All right. Give me this morning. I'll be back with you. I'll be back with you. I'll be back with you. All right. Oh. Hello. Yes, this is Serena. Yeah. I'm sorry, what do you mean? What, an, an, an accident, is it? No, please. No, 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 please, please, please. Just, just tell me. Please, just, just tell me. I, don't tell me to calm down. Just, just tell me that you're 100% sure. Hello, hi. No. 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 No, Max, no, 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 stop. No! <laughs> no! No, Max! <laughs> Ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-
معاهم كانت وين؟ هاي وين؟ Uh, what's, what's going on? Um, it's a um, special night. A uh, special night? Like, it's not even my birthday yet. Like I know. I'm about to do something I, I should have done a long time ago. Babe. Sarita, you've been a blessing to my life. You've been there for me for the past four, five years. <laughs> you know, the way you love and care for me is something I should never take for granted. Serena, I'm about to take this to the next level. Serena. Serena Ubiwe Samba. Will you do me the honors of being my wife? Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No <laughs> Oh my god. <sighs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we're getting married. Yes. I can't believe this. Finally, ah, oh. speaking. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, this this day could never have even been better. You know why I was calling you earlier? Tell me. Because I wanted to tell you this good news. You are looking at the new regional supervisor. Oh my god. Yes, I, I got promoted. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Well, this is about the celebration. Yes! Yes! We definitely should pop that. Come we should pop that. We should pop that. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. This is the best day of my life. The best day of our lives. Our lives, baby. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This is it. Here you go. Thank you. And uh, I'm getting married. We're getting married. What's your love? Let's toast to what? Exactly. To love. To love. And happiness. And happiness. And forever. And forever, baby. Cheers. Cheers I love you. Love you too, babe. Yeah. Hey, sis. What's up? Hi. Good morning. Why are you so cheaper? Yeah. How was your night? <laughs> mm. Well, the night was. Good, actually. So how'd you go? What? How'd you go now? Eh, uh, well... Why are you even asking? Don't you know how it went? Anyway, this is how it went. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> this is beautiful! You see me? Thank you! I can't believe you finally get married, sis. Right, ah! right. I'm about to be a wife. Wait. <laughs> Where is he? Oh no, it is been night. Yeah, oh, you asked out. We're trying to do like, We're trying to do it the right way, kind of situations. So, well, it's okay. Yeah, I have the ring. That's uh. it. <laughs> Don't. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now that you're going to be a wife, right. to to be, I'm going to treat you to a special breakfast in bed. Aww. What do you want to have for breakfast, my sister? Are you for real? Okay. I want some chicken, mm -hmm. some bacon, some eggs, some sausage, uh, some... Um, wait, 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 so because you see cap for my head, like, not <laughs> up the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I say you want to give me breakfast. All right, all right, all right, I'll give you a special treat like this. Mm -hmm. My beautiful surprise, get on it! Thank you, thank you, my 
my stomach is rumbling. My friend, go and do the breakfast. Go and quickly, quickly, claim quickly. It. Quick, uh, claim it. Uh, relax. It has not even settled on my hand. You are claiming it. Love you. <laughs> okay. So what did Nelson see when you told him yesterday? I... <clears throat> well, I mean... He... He came home actually pretty late. I was asleep and then he... And then he woke me up mm -hmm. with a surprise. And the surprise was this. Oh my God! Is it live? <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Hey, that was just me. My dog is getting lovely. Babe, I want to hook you with um, Sapphire Bride. I want to, oh my god, if I want to shut down your wedding. Wait, hold on, what's up with all this Sapphire Bride I've been hearing lately? What's up? Also... Have you seen their bridal collection? Guy, it is to die for. <laughs> the issue I have is that you know, I don't know when I was getting married, not have used them. But they yeah, sound expensive for you. I don't care. It's my <laughs> girl's wedding. Oh my god. Okay. Silent, silent, silent. I want to join you. 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 Hey girl. Yeah, my phone died. Yes, yes. Where are you? Sapphire. What's happening with Sapphire? You don't look good at guessing. Wait a minute. Did Nelson propose to Big Sis? I'm so I'm so happy for her. Yes, I, I cannot make it now. Maybe later on. Yes, yes. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to, but I can't right now. Let me just call you back later. And when were you going to tell me? Today. What do you mean? So you plan to propose Nelson? Are you thinking I slept with me? Come on, babe. We talked about it. What do you mean? You did not say you were going to propose. But I asked you. You oh sounded like you were not bothered about it. You were not jealous. You even encouraged me to go out and meet. Nelson, you know what? Go and be with your woman. Don't ever, don't you ever call my line again. Rubbish. F rubbish. So we could consider other so options. Wait, have you guys heard about Tiffany's? What about them? Oh, Tiffany's? Yeah. You, you don't know them? I think I've heard about yeah, them. Yeah, they are really good. They did my sister's wedding last year. It was amazing. Oh my god, she looks yeah. so pretty. Yeah. Who's your sister your cousin? My sister now did this wedding last year. Yes, it was Tiffany's. Yeah. It was mad, right? Oh, yeah, I know. Mad. Check them out. Yeah. Was, I think we could add them out to the, add them to the list of things. Wow. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You should. You should. You should. Oh, hold on. Oh, Nelson is at the door. Just press. Right. Ow. Oh. Are you okay? Ah, uh, just a minute. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I've just been having this sharp pain inside. Serena, you need to rest. I've been telling tell your sister. Tell you need to rest. You work too hard. Yeah. See this wedding thing, we are here for you. That's I mean, yeah. 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 you don't need to stress yeah. yourself out. Thank you. I mean and tell her to rest though. Yeah. Yeah. You need yeah. to calm yeah. down, babe. Yeah. Please. Yeah. 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 Your sister is yeah. stubborn. Yeah. Yeah. Very stubborn. She doesn't listen to me. Serena, how far are you? Hi Ella. How are you doing? Hi ladies. Hi. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you doing? How's work? Fine. All so, right. so guys, what is going on? Well, just I've been talking, talking about it. I have to run. Something just came up. My love. Well, you're supposed to stay the whole you day. You know I love you so much. I, 
see you. You see how they Get out. Bye. Okay, see so you. Anyway, she's talking about one green color that may on that side. What? green and green. 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 Again? Hey, are you okay? Yeah. I've been telling her. I've been telling her. Your wife is stressing herself. She doesn't want to rest. Oh, come on. Talk to your wife. Relax. Talk to our wife. Relax. Say, relax. Don't mind it. 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 I'm good. I'm sure. I'm good. Don't worry. I just need to, to chill. That's all I need. Yes. Why are you not chilling? That was not chill, please. <laughs> anyway. Ready to rest. So, you see from me, I think. Thank you, nurse. Um, um, <laughs> she still didn't say anything at all. What's going on now? These nurses are just coming and going. Nobody's saying anything. The, the last doctor that came was like the third doctor that, that I showed up here like in the last couple of hours. I just come. Good afternoon, Nurse. It's good to see you awake. How are you feeling? I don't know. Don't. don't worry, you'll be fine. Miss uh, Serena Samba. So we ran a series of tests on you and uh, some of the results came out positive. Positive? Uh, what do you she, mean? Is she pregnant? No, she's not pregnant. Actually, I'm an oncologist. And um, I have enough signs on your case. I, I'm sorry, you're an uh, oncologist. Doctor, if I may interrupt. An oncologist handles cancer patients, am I right? Yes. No, I can't. <laughs> well, I mean, Okay, no, I Does she have cancer? <laughs> okay, we need to calm down. Okay, Miss um, Serena Sandra, we need to calm down. Look, um, the test that we ran indicates that you have breast cancer. <laughs> Miss Samba, we use it to prepare what comes next. We have to carry the procedure as soon as possible. But I want you to know that. Cancer is not a death sentence. What? You, you mean I cannot, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't have cancer. I, I, no, please, please, there must be some kind of mistake. I, I'm getting married, I'm planning a wedding. My life is just a mistake. Oh, <laughs> please, please, it has to be a mistake. Please, can you help me call my sister? Please call my cousin. Stop me, please. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh God, it all comes. He has to be a Please, he has to be a mistake. Hi. Stay busy. You okay? Wait, did you just listen to all those things? Hurry. What happened? 
Nelson, Leanne, what's going on? What, what, where's she here? What's <laughs> happening now? The, the, doctor said, oh, no. the doctor said she has cancer. <laughs> cancer? How now? Somebody that left the house healthy this morning. How, 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 how does somebody who is healthy have, have cancer from nowhere? <laughs> It's what they're saying. How, how are they saying that? How are they, what, who even said this? Who is the person that said that? What is the person that said that? I sure the person went to, to, to medical school because what kind of death, death diagnosis is that one? Why, why would you wake up as a kind of I Ah, he was a current. Yeah. Okay, and I am sure you should be Nelson. Can I see you all outside for for a few minutes? What about me? No, it's okay. 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Those people that know what you're doing, you can't, you just, you can't, 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 how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, like I told him earlier, Serena has breast cancer and it is spreading really fast. We are still running some tests to know the extent to how far it's gone. But for now, I'm just going to train her. Why? Who is to say Possible. Oh, please, doctor. I. Serena so, is my fiance. We are getting married first. I just want to know if she will be okay. Honestly, as much as I would want to say yes, probably that's the answer that everyone would want to hear. But uh, I can't answer that question. You're a doctor, you should know this. Yes, I am a doctor, not God. Is there a possibility that she will come out of this alive and healthy? Absolutely, yes. But what she's more concerned about right now is giving her the right level of support, love and attention that she needs. Look, news like this can never be pleasant to anyone, especially the carrier. But she needs to hear about how they'll treat this with the right level of love and support. And advice. Now is the time that she needs you more than ever. Be a good man and stand by her side. Okay? I'll Thank see you around. Thank you, Doctor. Right. Okay. She can't wind up with this one, eh? Holy God sees me and knows my heart. Sees it says not false. It's easy. Every morning, mm -hmm. noon, everything night, will be fine, Serena. Everything will be fine. Cause I've been praying to you all my life. See, I promise you, I've been praying since. And I'll keep on waiting till the end. Always get a second opinion. Now the sun will shine. I think who is the who is that? Is the doctor who they are saying? Without having said that, what the doctor is saying? Always get a second opinion. It's thirty, forty, as many as we need. It's supposed to be okay. Sorry, he was like this. I just pray. So you know we could always pray. We be pray. I've been praying. I've prayed all my life. I've been faithful. I've done everything God asked me to do, and this is how He repays me. Don't talk like that now, Serena. Serena, don't say that. Serena, don't say that. Come on. <laughs> Sarah, it's going to be fine. I, I promise you will be fine. I promise oh, you. We'll do this together, Serena. You're going to make me cry. I don't like this. I don't like seeing you like this. I don't know what to do. Serena. Serena will work all through this. I promise you. We're going to be here for you. Serena. Oh. Oh. Oh my god! Oh my god! 
Você não vai com isso? Por quê? Por quê? Por quê? Por quê? Por quê? And I just proposed. Just can't hold on to this one now. Are you getting it? Honestly, I don't know. This feels different. Even the doctors are not sure if she will be fine. This is cancer we're talking about. Now, stop avoiding my questions. Are you regretting the steps you took a few days back? If she's dying. Bro, it's just a diagnosis. That is how it starts. Right? I mean, even the doctors couldn't tell me the possibility of her fighting this. So it's obvious she can't get out of this. She's fighting a lost battle. Now, Sin, you can't be saying this. Let me talk this thing with the dog. I'm a realist. Missing words is not in my nature. I say it the way it is. Bro. This is not about being a realist. You need to speak positivity into this situation. Don't forget about that thing, Beck. <laughs> Leave that thing. Listen, we're not even married yet. And she's already having terminal ailment. Nelson, she is not dying. What did they do to you now? Maybe not yet. Or soon. I guess. Guy, yeah, I don't care for your matter. I don't lie for you. You know you talk this way, you talk, you know the verse. I'm, I'm like, I'm now. Yeah. That's because you're not in my shoes. That's why you're running your mouth. I wish I don't tell you to I'll tell you. <laughs> I don't care. Please get me another glass. What do you do? You won't dry yourself today. Eh? Yeah, you calm down. Now. You calm down. Now. It's only me I understand. Only God sees Hello? me and knows Give me another glass of beer. Um, this is my colleague, Dr. Fola. Hi. So, we have carried out some tests. It's just... We carried out some tests and... Uh, I'm sorry, but... The... We have some not so pleasant news. So what you're trying to say is, even though it's still in the early stage, but cancer is spreading really fast, we may have to cut off one of your breasts. And uh, we found an autoimmune disease in your system. Your head is really bad. We'll have to monitor you properly. Sorry, but you cannot cut my breast. Well, if you don't want to survive, fine. But if you want to be here, you have to let us do our job. I told you. Am I going to die? Only God sees me and knows my heart. Miss Amber. Serena, just please. Call me Serena. Miss Serena. It's not that bad. We're not going to be breast at the end of the day. Well, even if we cut off your breast, as my colleague said, we can always do a reconstructive surgery. And besides, you can actually survive this. Or well, you have to tell yourself that. And you have to believe it. Um, excuse me, please. I had to attend to an emergency. Audrey, please, kindly get her ready for what's ahead. Thank you. Only God sees me and knows my heart. Sees it till I fall. Every morning, noon, and night, he is my friend. Dr. Audrey. Yes. Please be honest with me. Just tell it to me straight, don't sugarcoat it. I can handle it. Am I going to die? Miss Serena, do you believe in God? I 
But I don't know. I mean, I guess at some point I thought I did, but like everything that's happening right now, I I don't know. I'm lying to you. I said, Doctor, on you in my many years of practice. I have seen patients that give up because they couldn't bear the excruciating pain that comes with the chemo. But I've also seen the first hand of God. Only God sees me I have seen God work heart. miracles. Jesus, yes, I have seen Every people that beat cancer. Night, not to one, not two. People that have beat cancer. And you're one of them. God? Oh, it's all I need. Oh, Mr. Why should I? You tell me if you wear my shoes with everything that your colleague said, with the report that is on your table, would you believe that there is any higher power entity than the baby man called God? Man for good. This is just a report. It can be just a report. Look, I have seen the first hand of God. Like I said, I have met God. Maybe not in person. I can tell you one thing for sure. God has no gender. He's not a man. He's not a woman. I have felt the love of a father in him. But I've also felt the compassion of a mother. Nothing beats that. I have felt the compassion of a mother in him. So, I dare to say, forgive me if I say that I have met God. And God is a woman. And no mother, no mother could watch her child go through pain and dwell in pain and not go the distance for her. Look, Serena, you have about four weeks to the procedure. Four weeks is enough time for you to find God again. Give him a chance in your life. Okay? With God, everything is possible. These two. Find your feet. Serena, what time do you? I work here. This thing here. I find it. Hey. You need to tip on. You need to take things easy. Don't tell me what to do, please. You're angry. Yes. Yes, I'm angry. I'm angry at everything. I'm angry at myself. I'm angry that everyone is feeling sorry for me. I'm angry at life, but most importantly, I'm angry at God. Serena, don't say that now. Okay, what am I supposed to say? When the one being that I've dedicated my entire life to has completely abandoned me when I need it most. I'm talking like this, babes. I'm talking like I can't. This. I can't. I'm dying. You will not die, Serena. You will not die. Only God sees me and knows my heart. Have you tried Jesus praying? Yes, Babe, you need to trust Every God. Morning, noon, and night. Trust God. Trust God. Doctors are saying that they're going to cut off my breasts. They're saying they're going to cut off my breasts. Maybe both of them. And then I have this autoimmune you know, illness on top of everything else. How can I trust God? How? But what if this is only a test? I mean, I am not Job. Or Abraham, Moses. Look, 
I'm Serena. Okay, it's it's easy for people to say, don't worry, everything is going to be fine. Just trust God. Just trust God. Because they are not the ones dealing with the terminal illness. I am. Serena, you will beat this, Serena. You will overcome this. I've seen much worse, my love. Far much worse. You will beat this. What? Hey, why are you yelling? Because they're about to cut off your breast. You don't have to say it like that now. Like you should make me feel any better. Huh? What is a woman without her breast? You, I know that this is not this is not ideal, but I'm sure God will take control of everything. God. What God are you talking about, Serena? The same God who allowed this, this calamity to befall you? Huh? Why are you talking like this now? Because I want you to face reality. Okay? You know what? I need to go clear my head. What? I don't understand. Nels, are you going somewhere right now? I need some space. But babe, I need you here with me. Now when this whole thing is choking. Okay? Nels, you, you can't you can't just leave like that now. Listen. Can I accept you? I need to go clear my head. Is it too much for me to ask? Is it? What do you want me to do? I'm... I'm... Nelson, please don't do this. Yes, come in. Hi, doctor. Yeah. Good morning. What is that with you? I'm Viral. Yeah, please sit. Thank you. I learned you want to see me. Um, yeah. Okay, um, how are you and how's your sister? Actually, really not good. I mean, I'm, I know I'm not sick, but, you know, our lives have just changed since you gave us this news. I'm sorry. It's okay. So, uh, how is she holding up? Bad. Real bad. I don't even know how to feel. I I feel like I'm just going to wake up someday and she's gone. Look, um, Miss Alma. Karen. You can call me Karen. Karen. It's Karen. If there's someone here that would have to clean the fault, it would be you. Where no one in ever system gets you. She needs your love, your support, attention, and support. Your cheer. It's gonna be hard. It's, it's never easy. Pretty much. It might turn out worse or better. Might turn out good. You know, but at the end of the day, this will come for something. I hope so. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Hello? What? what? Okay, I'm coming. Can I come in? Are you serious? Yes. You, you'll be fine. Okay? You'll be okay. I don't like seeing you sound like this. I honestly don't know if that's true. <laughs> please do me a favor, please. If I don't make it, please. <laughs> oh, what kind of talk is that one now? now? Please, let me just say my piece, please. Okay, fine. Just promise me that if, if things don't pan out, 
you will always be there for my sister. Nothing no, is going to happen to you. Why are you being this way now? What kind of talk is this? What are you saying? Why are you sounding like this now? I'm just trying to be real. The only person that can think of me in this life is you. No other person can, can, can do that kind of joke. I mean, uh, I'm just trying to be realistic. No, why do you be positive? You're, being, you're not being realistic, you're being pessimistic at this point. You just be stop. positive. Nothing will happen to you. You'll be fine. You'll be okay. You'll be here. You'll be fine. Stop. See stuff like that. Papa. Serena, do want. Please, can you help me call your son again? I don't think you like calls. It's true, Seth. That is in the house. You can help us get some stuff. Fine. Oh, you're playing like this. Like, what do you know what to do? Helen know how right Helen would be to if I told you to chill. But I can tell you that right here, right now, what you have is life. And there is every reason to be happy for it. I know what you're going through. I have I've experienced it firsthand. Not just from a long point, but also personally. I'll tell you the story of my life. It's when I was 14. My mother was diagnosed with cancer. Breast cancer. I was too young to understand what it felt like. To understand the pain she was going through. Even times when she tried to hide the pain away from us. She wore a smile on her face. I knew that something was missing in the house. Something was missing. Everyone around her, from my father to my siblings, they are not the same anymore. A once lively home turned into a sad home. That was a void created there. But that's not all. Two days to my 15th year birthday, the news came in. The news that we all read. We lost our mom. Mom was gone. And I had to be without. It's like to be seen. A mother heard from me again. My siblings and I watched our father try to she do his best to grow us up with my father. Life went on. We, we faced life every single day, getting used to the fact that we don't have a mother right Little did we know that the pain was way too much for my father to deal with. Three years after her death, he passed on. At this point, we're now orphans. We're left with no father, no mother. But then we still have to face life some way. I managed to get it to the university, the medical school. The medical school, I met a, a beautiful soul called Amanda. Amanda and I had a son together. She was not just beautiful, she was all I ever dreamed of. Was? Yes. Was. She was all I ever dreamt of in the moon. We had a beautiful song together and just when I thought that I was building my life, I finally found my own family that I could build on. Amanda passed on. She died. 
She died on her way to serve her father life. Oh. What do you mean? What are you talking about? I'm... I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. What was worse was the fact that I had to leave my life. Now without my parents. Now without the only woman that I ever truly gave up. But now, with my son, I had to be there for him. I had to make sure I was his father and mother. I promised myself I was going to do everything and anything to make sure that he doesn't miss the fact left by the mother. Oh, guess what? I was diagnosed with cancer. What? Yes. I was diagnosed with blood cancer. <laughs> I thought that I read the end of the road. <sighs> thought that I was going to lose everything. There was no way back. I was going to... I was going to insult God. Because I don't understand how all I have known while growing up is just pain. Losing my mother, losing my father, losing the girl I fall in love with. And then now, I had cancer. There was no hope. And every day, I looked at my son. The only thing I could think about was how would this boy grow up without his parents? Without his mother, without his father, he didn't even have the opportunity to meet his grandparents, his paternal grandparents. How would he survive? How would he hold him through his life? So you know what I did? I woke up one morning and I made a decision. I told myself, Audrey, you are going to leave. You are going to beat cancer. Before then, I've had stories of people that beat cancer, and I told myself I was going to be one of them. Cancer was going to kill me. I was going to go because of some disease. I took that one important decision that was what changed everything for me. I will not sit down here and lie to you and tell you that trust in God, keep your faith in God. You not receive treatment and you're going to be fine. You are already on the right path. You are in a good hospital. You are getting the best treatments that's out there in this country. But the first step to healing yourself is here. You have to believe within yourself that you're going to be cancer. You have to believe within yourself that you are not going to die. This is going to be a story that you will tell someday. If I could beat cancer, why can't you beat cancer? I told you I have met God. My God is my feet. The fact that I can sit back and I can tell myself that with God, all things are possible. Everything is possible. And I serve him. And I believe that he is going to come and stand and fight with me while I'm fighting my own battle myself. I fought this battle. I didn't have to let what's with God. So I want you to believe that you can do it. Are you going to be that, sir? Serena? Are you to... going to be that, sir? I want to. I want to. Go to be that, sir. I have to. Hey, baby. I'm not God. But as long as you believe it. I want every treatment that we have here at your disposal. You'll be cancer. Only God sees me and knows and my heart. Sees it, says not false. But every morning, noon, and night, He hears my prayer. Heavenly Father. Because I've been praying to you all my life. Hoping something that my change will come. And I will keep on waiting till the end. Nelson, what's going on? I've been calling you. Why do you have a box? I have a larger flight. Uh, <laughs> Nelson, 
My sister is laying sick on a hospital bed. And you want to skip town? John looks like a doctor to you. I mean, that's a problem to worry about. Because right now, I have an urgent flight to catch. All right? And I'm not suspending that to go and be with Serena. Come on, you're there. You can handle it. Okay? For once in your life, be truthful. Are you leaving my sister? Because the way you have changed since this diagnosis is so surprising. You won't understand, Carly. I don't understand because if I understood, I don't I won't be standing here asking you to make me understand. What's happening? You and I know that you were not ready to propose, or you did. We sure did it. <laughs> you're joking, right? Like you're joking. That's it. Karen, her breast will be cut off anytime soon. What's the point getting married to her? I said, I have never in my entire life met anybody as shallow minded and as insensitive as you are. Please watch your talk. Don't speak to me like that again. Now, soon, if I don't, what will you do? Hmm? It's pretty obvious my sister made a very big mistake. No. I made a mistake. Okay? I shouldn't have asked her out in the first place, let alone proposed to her if I knew she was dying. Hey, you're so disgusting. Oh, she's here. How did you see yourself? Babe, I've been calling you. I like, what's going on? I called you so so many times. Why are you not picking your call? Are you, are you going somewhere? I didn't see your call. Nelson, how? I called you 14 times. I, I just was... said I did not see any call. Why don't you man up for the boys and let her know that you're leaving her? What? Mm, ask him. Nelson, is it? Is this true? Are you, are you leaving me? It is very true because your Mr. Husband to be here has said that you're no longer woman enough for him because your breast will be cut off. Nelson, please tell me that it's a lie. Sorry, no. You're going to leave me now. Like, right at the... Right at the point where I need you the most? Sorry, no. I know it's hard to believe this. <laughs> Sir, I know it's hard for you. Nelson, okay. please, Nelson, please, please don't, 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 don't do this, please. This is, how could you can't leave me now after all this time? We've been together to, I've been with you when you've been ill and now I just need you and, and you're going to get up and leave after five years? What are we doing? You just proposed to me and I was supposed to be with us. Sir, it's not about me, okay? It's my unborn kids, all right? Our unborn kids, what are you talking about? Listen, Serena, I know it's hard. But believe me, it's harder for me. I wish this is not happening. How is this harder for you? Listen, I can't get married to someone with no breast. I mean, your breast will be cut off anytime soon. Listen. Wow. Your unborn kids, okay? I, I can't get married to you when my unborn kids can't even have access to breast milk. Okay, what are they going to suck or you know when they are you when they are born? Are you serious right now? That is the excuse that you're giving right like is that is that that's not even Listen. that is not even an excuse, Nelson. Sir. Just say the truth or whatever it is. It's not about me, okay? Listen, I know you've been there for it's me, okay. you've done okay. everything for me. I'm just... I don't even want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Here. Sorry that I cannot force. So you want to leave? Why? 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 Take it now. Well, let's your team now. You don't want the kids. Take your team. So if I think about my own. Can you please just Baba, talk to me? your team. Come on, boy. Ah. For so them, it's not me. Let's your team. Oh, let's see. Why are you hesitating? What? Baba, take something. Yeah. I wish you a nice life. Um, you move, you are stepping on my patience. Move! My own kids, they are the one I'm fighting for. No. 
Are you in? One, two, one, two, one, two. Move it, move it. Go, go, go. There, thanks. There are plants coming into my house. Move the house. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be sad over that, that good for nothing. Look at you see, you are the nonsense was saying. Okay. Don't cry, you don't need any drugs like that in your life. Good, good you dance to bad rubbish. Only God sees me and knows my heart, sees it, says not false. Every morning, noon, and night, He hears my prayer. Cause I've been praying to you all my life, hoping someday that my change will come. And I will keep on waiting till the end, that the sun will shine on me. Yes, I'm still grateful for the air I breathe, and I'm thankful for the life I live. But I'm still broken from deep within That your mercy shine on me I need to my ears You like, ah, that's it, they move to the top of the body Yeah, who was acting great then? Because you did cast me Well, they you wait to let me Keys take for like, oh, well that acting great then You're in now, and I still have a wagon job then you know, this kind of like I'm kind of like, Only God sees me and knows my heart. Jesus is the fault. Every morning, noon, and night, he's my friend. I say, I'm grateful for heart is all I need. I'm missing God a miracle. But I'm so broken now to understand. Is that my own belief? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I say, I'm good, I say, I'm good. Cheers to a wonderful day in the body. Ooh, 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 Says, I, I need food. I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. We need to eat something now. Why? What's the point? Why should I eat anything if I'm good to die anyway? I do. I, I don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> How could I have possibly done wrong to deserve this from God? And why is he taking everything from me? He took our parents. <laughs> and before I fully got over that, he took Matt. And I can probably swear that Matt is the one person who has loved me more than anyone I can think of, but God took him. And now Nelson is gone. He's left me. I'm about to lose a part of myself to cancer. How, 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 how should I reconcile this? 
It's like every time something good happens in my life, God has to punish me some some way, somehow, by allowing me to just be happy for a moment before ripping it out of my arms. Like how long was I working to to get recognized at my job and the second that happened? It is the casa. It's like I can't have anything good. God has to take it away from me. Let me just he gives me just a little bit so I can taste it and then he snatches it from my arms. You know you don't always have to be this negative about things. <laughs> negative. Yeah. Karen, Karen, how am I being negative? I'm just I'm just I'm just saying what is right in front of my face. How I, I, I even spoke to Dr. Audrey and he said the mastectomy is so even bad. He said we could even do a reconstructive surgery. Come on now. What else is what else is Audrey going to say? This is he has to say that. He has to say that. I'm going to lose any woman that and they're going to chop off my breast. How am I supposed to live like that? Oh, 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 with fake breast. I don't even understand how that's supposed to work. Since I want you to know that whatever happens, whatever the case may be, I will always be here for you. I promise you, even if the world turns this back on us. It's great to be And I'm for the I me. Just kill me. This is torture. I think I should come Are you? I'm sorry, I was just confused. She's, she's awake. Miss Serena, it's good to see you awake. Where, um, what's going on? Where, where am I? You're in the hospital. And if you're going to ask, how did you end up here? Well, you passed out last night. What? Thank, thank God you're awake. Sorry, how are you feeling? <sighs> Please, ma, I have to be blunt with you. Miss Serena, your situation is very bad. And um, you're going to be losing your hair. So I advise you shave it off for chemotherapy. And um, the results are not out yet, so we are not sure. But the cells are spreading really very fast. Ah. But I, I don't understand. That's all the blood. I'm just stating the fact here. Hey, Mr. Ria. It's good to see you all. How are you doing? Um, um, I don't know what this doctor is saying, but she's she saying that my sister is doing chemotherapy and I cut off her hair. That's what she said, bro. Um, is that, is that it? Yeah. <sighs> oh, no, let's just. Sure. Ah, oh, right. Yes, I think so. Sorry, Dad. Um, I'll see you later. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it. I don't know. I don't know. Give this 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 one a uh, permit to come. Come, come, come. How are you feeling, Jerry? I fainted. 
You, you didn't necessarily think it's just fell down. So, oh, God. so. Dr. Fala, have you seen the test results? No, I haven't. Her immune system is back to normal. That's impossible. Well, I carried the test twice, and it shows that everything is back to normal. Look, it's a miracle. It's not a miracle. It's a mistake. Really? Audrey, you saw the test results last week. She was rushed in here yesterday because she passed out. Something is definitely wrong with her, and we need to figure it out. So how we can save her life. It's not a miracle. It's a, it's a miracle, okay? I've been dead before. I know a miracle when I see one. For Christ's sake, how is the, the lumps on her breast? It's shaking. That's the hand of God there. She needs to be operated ASAP. <sighs> okay, two weeks. Two weeks? Yes, that's the two weeks. And if nothing changes, then we can proceed with the surgery. How about that? <sighs> two weeks. Yeah. And, I mean, you can actually carry out the test on your own just to be sure. I just hope you're right. Dr. <laughs> Fala, he's trying to be nice, okay? Really? Yes. Good morning. Good morning, Doctor. I brought some flowers for you. It's good to see you're eating today. Mm, Here. Oh, why are you giving me flowers? Well, it's a good day. Here. So, how are you feeling today? I don't know, Doc. Of course, I feel really bad. Mm. I'm going to start losing my hair because it's going to fall out if we do the chemo, and and in a few days maybe I might lose my breast. How do you think I feel? Well, I might just have a positive news for you. Yes. Yeah, uh, Miss Serena, we ran some tests on you. And it seems like your immune system is seemingly back to normal. But we will still need to run some more tests. Really? Yeah. So there might still be better news. But we would still need to run a CT scan and a mammogram to actually be sure of it. Okay. So as you see, there might be no need for surgery. Your breasts might just stay intact. Wait, doc, doc, so what do you mean by we might not need a surgery anymore? Oh, well, like I said, um, something is happening. Something really good is happening. I don't know what it is. Call it a miracle, or if I can the truth. Whatever it is you're doing, don't stop. Don't increase it. Don't reduce it. Just maintain the pace, okay? Okay. 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 All right, um, yeah. all right, uh, let's keep our, our, our spirit high with uh, positive energy. Hope we can make more good. All right. Thank you, Dr. Hope you like the flowers. She loves it. Yes. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, see you around. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 I told you not to doubt God. If I ever doubted him since then, stop doubting God. Thank you. If I ever doubted you, forgive me. Hey! You don't need to hear me. You don't need to hear me. Thank you. Nelson, 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 how could you do what you did? What are you talking about? Really have no shame. Nelson, how could you? Yeah. What are you talking about? Serena, obviously, who else are you talking about? And who is that? Hello, my friend, your supposed fiancé. Oh! <laughs> Thank God you said supposed. Should I be like her? How could anyone think that I'll settle down and say a woman whose dress is about to be cut off? How? Nelson, let me ask you a question there. 
Would you have married your husband if he was crippled? Don't you dare with your husband. I love your husband. Oh, of course. I love a woman who is naturally endowed. And I'm sorry to say, or let me use the word, forgive me if your friend no longer has that. It's so shameless. It's so shameless. If you ask me, I don't know what's there in this room. Look. Now it's it. The globe. Yeah. You want to Excuse me. I have to be honest with you, bro. Even Serena because of my health challenges is really not the best thing for you to do. And what was I supposed to do? What did the good man should do? So you're calling me a bad man, right? Bro, if the shoe fits, I have to be honest with you. That girl was there for you when you needed her the most. Oh, please, 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 see. Okay, I don't want to talk about this anymore, okay? Bro, Serena made a mistake. She really made a mistake. Stop talking about this issue, okay? <laughs> Are you expecting somebody? No. Who is it? Hold on. What are you doing here? I don't understand. What do you mean by two? Ten dollars. Ah. Serena. Are you sure this is safe for you to drink? <laughs> what do you care? What are you doing here, please? I came to talk. <laughs> There's nothing to talk about. Karen. Oh. How have we been? Since when do you care? So when I care. Mm. Enough to walk away from everything that we had. That is why I am here to see that I'm sorry, okay? And don't think this is me wanting us back, because that's never going to happen. You know what, Nelson? I should hate you, but... Strangely enough, I don't. I don't. I just... For no fault of mine, but I blame myself. Because I allowed a lot of trauma. Forced me to accept such horrible treatment from someone who wasn't even worth it. Simply because I didn't want to do it to you. But I'm healing. I am. I am happy to hear about you are healing. You should go. Sorry now. Please. Just go. I pray you heal. Oh, I am. No, sir. I am healing because not having you in my life is the best thing that could ever happen to me. So that is making me heal. Thank you very much. Please see yourself up. Dr. Audrey, hey. Hi. How are you? Uh, I was uh, driving 
Ah, é nóis, se pode ser. Ah, é nóis, Limita. Um. Não, 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 I um, invited you to a hideout. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please. Thank you. Uh, sit. Oh, by the way, this is for you. Uh, thank you. And uh, this too. Oh, uh, wow. You have a really nice place. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. For, forgive my manners. Um, can I offer you something to, to drink? I don't know. Water. Good morning. Mm, sleep well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So I just came to check on you before I head out to. Oh yeah, your your interview. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. I, I I hope everything works out for you. Amen. And I pray we receive positive news today. Amen. Everything will be fine. Okay. Okay. Mm, have a good day. You too. I love you. Love you too. Okay. So, yeah, how are you? So, I can you just drop you on my way. So. I, I, I don't mind. Thank you. <laughs> it's just, I'm worried about the test results. You've been worried from the first day you came here. <laughs> Maybe you should calm down and uh, let me put it off for you. Oh, okay. Thanks. And trust me, everything will be fine. Thank you so much. Okay, you dress. Uh, yes. <sighs> Sit down. <laughs>
for. Thank you so much for walking me. You're welcome. Uh, I don't... I was kind of wondering if you might want to, I don't know, just stay for a few minutes. Uh, I would have loved to, but... Uh... You know what? I can. Uh, I can just a few minutes. Okay, uh, great. <laughs> All right. Thank uh, you. What's going on? Well. Uh, what's happening? This is happening. You should open it and read. Okay. It's like a medical medical report. Is is this for is this is this for you? Is this real? <sighs> please, uh, I'm begging you, please. Uh, I hope this is not some kind of prank because you're trying to make me feel good or something because it, it would just be so hurtful. <laughs> is this... Serena, it's real. We took your blood samples a while ago and uh, we ran some tests. The test shows that your blood is clear. And um, everything seems to be back to normal. Yes. We further took some scans that showed that the lumps in your breasts are shrinking. I wasn't so sure, so uh, we started to give you two weeks before running on the test. And this is it. Oh my god. Wait, wait. I don't understand. How, how is this possible? Miracle. Yes. I have been a doctor for quite some time, and Serena, this right here is nothing but miracle. It just goes to show that miracles do exist, and you are a testimony. I'm so happy to be back. <laughs> if I ever doubt the faithfulness of God again, I'll be the biggest fool. Babe, I'm not supposed to be saying that, not you. <laughs> anyway, these are right for you earlier. Oh, uh, oh, hold on, sorry. Hello? Yeah, Audrey, I just walked into the office right now and yes, yes, I've seen them. Thank you so much. And the chocolates. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Thank you. It's quite, ooh, very, very nice. Yes, yes, thank you. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to just jump right into work right now, so I'll catch up with you later, okay? All right, bye. Okay. Mm, still sending you flowers. Mm. <laughs> How romantic. Romantic? Like, please, what's so romantic about flowers? Do you need someone to spell it out for you? What are you talking about? It's written on the wall. Okay, madam. I still don't know what you're talking about because, look, Audrey was sending me flowers when I was ill in the hospital. And now you're better and you're still sending me flowers. Uh, maybe just be nice. Have you considered that this guy has a crush on you? Serena, come on. Audrey's a really nice guy. He's sweet, he's thoughtful, he's responsible. If I were I'll give him a chance. Uh, girl, I don't... 
I mean, I don't know. He, it's not like, is he expecting me to read his mind or something? Ask him, ask him what he wants. How am I supposed to do that? Have you started by saying thank you? He was, he was such a good friend to you when you were in the hospital. See, babe, I think that you should ask him out to a dinner or something. I mean, who knows? I don't know if I have time for a relationship right now. Besides, I feel like it's too soon. And who says you need forever to know a guy? Baby girl, do yourself a favor and ask him out to a dinner for two. Mm. Okay. While you are thinking about that, what's chocolate? Let ah. me look at it. Ah, so madam. So you yourself for wait. This is um, not okay. You are going to pay fine. I want to take like one, one, or one two. chocolate is 2,000 euros. It's not even opening. It's not even opening. In fact, $600 eh. for one chocolate. Are you sure? Sure. You know, I totally understand. But I want you to know that I'm not in support of anyone else's actions to go to Listen, fresh. it's too late for that. It's not like you ever called to find out, like, or check up on her and find out how she was doing. I really wanted to. But the circumstances around her, I just didn't want to be caught in Whatever, Efe, whatever. It's too late for that. I'm serious. Nelson and I almost fought because I put his attention to it. How's Serena? She's fine. How's she holding up? I just said she's fine. I think it was really tough for her. What do you mean by really tough for her? I just said she's doing fine. Didn't you hear me? I heard she had a mask on her good breast. See, it is Nelson's mother. His sister or sisters, his girlfriend and his wife that will have that mastectomy. Leon. Don't Leon me. All that ingrates without a conscience, it was wish my friend bad. But I want you to know that the child of grace will always overcome. Go back and tell that dickhead Nelson, whatever he calls himself, that my friend Serena should beat cancer on her knees. Go and tell him that God healed her. And whatever mastectomy, whatever, she's not going to have it. It's been, what, three months and counting. So if you'll excuse me. Sis. Oh, you look beautiful. Oh, well, thank you. What's the occasion? Um, well, I invited Dr. Audrey over for dinner. Oh, so, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, sure. Are you sure this isn't more than just dinner? <laughs> what was that? Hmm. You know, it's just like, I mean. Okay. It's just dinner, you know. Mm-hmm. I'll say you said so. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, what's was something I... I think you should know. Yes. Oh, uh, that, that must be him at the door. Uh, just a minute. Hey. How are you? I'm good. Hi. Uh, I'm sure you know this is for you. Wow. This is... Hey. Hi, Doctor. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Nice seeing you again. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I will just excuse you guys. All right. Right. I, okay. Uh, later. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, may I? Uh, sure. Okay. What? What? Um, is everything okay? Yeah. It's just that uh, I didn't think your food taste is good. Oh. <laughs> um. 
Well, thank you very much for the compliment. You're welcome. It's also, you know, I haven't had a homemade meal by a woman in a long time. Wow. How long? Well, long enough to know what a homemade meal tastes like. Um, Audrey, forgive my inquisitiveness here, but um, the flowers and the chocolate that you keep sending, mm. what are those about? Well, I'm just being... Caring a, and empathetic, yeah. No. I'm just being a doctor. Yeah, but see, that's my point. I am not the only patient that was in the hospital that you do you give flowers and chocolates to all your patients. Honestly? No. Okay. Alex Serena, I uh, I probably shouldn't be saying this right now. Maybe it's not the right time to say it, but since you asked. I feel you should be loved the right way this time. The world has taken so much from you, Serena. So much. It's giving you pain, heartbreaks, and loss. You're such a beautiful person, an amazing heart. And I. I can't give you everything your heart desires. I can't give you the world. But if you let me, I would like to love you the right way. Wow. Um, I am incredibly flattered by everything that you said and as as exciting as it feels and it certainly feels exciting i just there's a whole lot happening right now i just i need some time to work through everything if that's okay oh uh I am so sorry. I'm not expecting anyone, excuse me. Okay. Hold on. Where is it? Nelson. Serena, please. We came to talk. Ify, please. Just please. Nelson, what are you doing here? I thought the last time you were here, we we had a conversation, you were not supposed to come back here again. Serena, I... I know you're, you're angry and mad at me for everything I've done. But I want you to know that I regret everything. Okay? <laughs> Listen. That is why I am here to tell you that we should forget everything that has happened in the past. Please, you have been there for me, and I, I feel so sad that I wasn't there for you when you needed me most. So then you can throw away four years, I mean five years of relationship just like that. Please, let's put everything in the past, please. Oh, you're right. Everything is in the past, Nelson, including you. What? You suddenly want a woman that don't have any more breasts? I thought you said... Oh, she... no, no, no. Everything is fine. Thank God everything is fine. Because God came through for me. But let me tell you something. You were the worst mistake of my life. So please, I don't have anything to say to you, Ify. Take your friend and leave this place. Come on, sir. You, know, you can say that. Okay? Let's try to listen to me. I don't... Try... So, okay. I apologize. Nelson... Please, you have to leave. Sorry, now. You're leaving me because of him? 
you know what, Nelson? I was having a really wonderful evening with my man and you were interrupting it. So please, kindly do me a favor and just leave. Your please. Man. Yes. Your man. Yes. Please leave. Oh, this is so lady. No. <laughs> she said you should leave. And who are you to ask me to leave? Nelson, please. I'm so sorry about that. I sincerely apologize. I don't understand. What kind of embarrassment is this? Eh? Imagine the way this girl embarrassed me up there. God, and you, Efe. You knew I was making a mistake, breaking up with Selena, and you never advised me. What kind of a friend are you? Guy, what are you saying? Are you listening to yourself? How many times did I sit you down to advise you about this whole situation? Advice? Who eh? did you advise? I'm not a good friend. Guy, for this shit, I'm going to go for you. Guy, you don't leave me out. Now, wow. Whoa. Okay, that's the last of it. Okay, I'm um, hold on, hold on. Who's calling? <sighs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, it was okay. It was actually quite eventful. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, he didn't really say that much, but what he did say, yeah. Listen, I need to say the love of my life. Okay? Who is she? Where is she? Karen, do you think it's easy to let go a relationship of four? I mean, five years, just like that. Hey, look at you. You should be ashamed of yourself. You don't even know how long you've been listening to her. Yeah, he did not, no, no, no. I mean, get out from here, Jerry. Listen, um, Nelson, what are you doing here again? Serena. You're not supposed to be here. You, you left, right? Serena, I am sorry. 
okay? Listen, I am so happy that you're fine now. I mean, God truly wants us to be husband and wife. Honestly, at least my unborn kids will see something, at least they'll have breasts to suck up, you know? You know, it's your audacity for me. I cannot, I don't even know where you find it from. Like your audacity is boundless. So you, you want to walk back into my life, calling me the love of your life, the love of your life, and you were sleeping with Anna behind my back. You thought I was never going to find out, right? Mm -hmm. it, it was Anna. It was, it was, a, it was Anna that was seducing. It was, yeah, she wow. was coming at me. I, I, I tried to resist her. You know your friend. Don't you? Nelson, I'm, I'm deeply disappointed in you. Like, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine because yes. this illness showed me your true colors. Now, please do me a favor. Take your flower, whatever it is that you came with, and just go, please. please I don't want to see you again. I don't want to see you again, Nelson. Please. I'm right. not, you know what? I'm going for She said you should leave. Please stay away from this. Okay. She's my fiance. And we've been together for four, I mean, five years. All right, I'm so just step aside. Five years, and you're still a coward. She didn't should leave. Serena, please Don't tell him to, to step aside. Don't speak to me. You heard what he said. Please just leave. Leave! Ah, that's what I had. It's not your business, okay? Stay. Okay. Are, you, are, you, are you trying to? Please. What are you trying to do? She, she is my fiance, and you know this. What is that? Please just Listen, she should leave. 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 Serena! Leave. Serena! Get out! You're watching him? Get out! For handling me like this? Okay. It's alright. Coming back! Coming back for you. Get out! Serena, after five years, and you allowed this to happen to me? Huh? Just leave. Encouraging me to give a chance and like we guys, who is the we? What <laughs> you must have liked him enough to give him a chance. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But at least your encouragement also helps. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, he's he's a cool guy, right? Yeah, he mm -hmm. actually is. I just, I guess, I was feeling like it was maybe too early or too soon. I don't know. I was just. Too early or too soon until another one come and be collecting from your hand, Abby. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. No, no, He's no, no. He's a no, good no. guy. Yeah, he Don't is. Don't be scared about anything, okay? Okay. So, rock it. Well, we'll see how it goes. That's mm -hmm. what I can. That's what I can say. So about it's the that. person that is blushing in my face right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. You're happy. Thank you, baby. To happiness. To happiness. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> so, we <laughs> are blushing. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Can we? Listen, you, I, I'm really sorry. I know this is a tragedy and I'm not supposed to be doing this right now, but listen, 
you've cost me so much, right? I am really sorry, but like, I just believe that God is going to send you a woman that is meant for you. You've destroyed my life. The people who care about me, they are gone. People that I took as sisters, people who took me in when I had no one. Nothing. I know this is the wrongest time to be doing this, but I am so sorry. There's no better time. There's just no better time. Like, I can't do this. God will give you another woman, but I am not that woman for you. I've been through too much because of you. Ah. Guy, guy, this thing I don't tell you sins. And this thing I don't tell you, bro. If you had stayed with Serena, this whole thing would not be happening. Bro, you know they cried, you know they cried. One can go start the cry. I will be, I will join you the cry. You know, no reason, no reason. You'll be fine, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, bro. Easy. Hey. Hey. I think you made me to the show. Come back for me. Babe, I brought those flowers out for me. Thank you. Thank you for coming to see me. You can uh, open up that no, I'm not here to see you. I'm here to see my man. But I wish you the very best. Yeah. I hope you heal. Bye. Bye. We go. Why embarrass yourself? I think she needs it. She needs it. I need to see you. I need to see you. I need to see you. You go back to your life. You go back to your life. Bro, let's go to your scan. Ah, it's not for me to move forward. Audrey? 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 Audrey, please. Please, please. you need to stop doing this. Let me see Serena. Karen. I am so sorry. Stop doing this. I will Karen, slap you. Please. Bye bye. Hello. This Anna girl, you know the girl was the man. I don't know, Anna. Huh? Hi, Audrey. <laughs> what did Anna do to you? <laughs> oh my God. Hey, Hi. how are you? Oh, okay, you. Good to see you. Good to see you. So, what's your food? Uh, well, she's selling the table, so. Yes. So, this is where I can get everything you get right now. Every morning, I'm not going to be able to get everything you get right now. Cause I've been praying to you all my life Hope that someday that my change will come And I'll keep on waiting till the end That the sun will shine on me Yes, I'm so grateful for the air I breathe And I'm thankful for the life I live But I'm so broken from deep within That your mercy shine on me Every morning, noon, and night, he is my friend. I say, Breath of Heart is all I need.